So I've been doing intermittent fasting since January of 2020 and unfortunately I run into a conundrum that I have been working for 18 months to try to solve to no avail. Believe me, I've tried all sorts of workarounds to this. It all comes to this little graph which is a plot of how many hours I have been fasting, how many hours since my last meal versus my happiness level. Now usually the low point is around 10 to 12 hours where you have to really push through it, right? Um, at the beginning, 0 through 8, you get a psychological craving sometimes. Even I don't get those anymore because I've been doing it for so long. And um, over here you do start to feel hungry, uh, maybe a little bit anxious. But usually this is, so usually this is sleep right here, so I don't even know if that exists. And this is my morning routine, you know, it is, as I'm taking a shower and cleaning up, getting dressed, you know, I'm not really thinking all that much about food, and um, this might be my commute depending on where I live, and then this would be the work day where I feel better and better and better, right? Unfortunately, during the work day, sometimes people offer me food, and I have to answer to that, but I'm feeling better and better and better. The last thing I want to do is to go all the way back here, so it's very easy, at least physically, to refuse the food, right? Socially, it might be another issue, right? I might just have to tell these people, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll look at the food later, right? If they prepared the food, that is, right? If my friends and I, um, or my coworkers suggest that we go to a restaurant, you know, I'll still go with them to chat with them, but I won't partake in the food, right? Uh, I'll get a glass of unsweetened iced tea and just sit around with them. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not very tempted because I'm feeling better and better and better. And then I get home. And this is this is after work, you know, maybe I'll go, I, I like bowling, right, or maybe um, to do something that I like to do. Usually I'll break the fast right there and then, right? But sometimes if I'm really busy or, or I'm going on a multi-day fast and I go to, I go, I go to back to sleep, right, I wake up feeling not that lousy. I wake up usually feeling better. Than, 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 than the first day when I woke up before I even began or eight hours into the fast. So this is hour 32 right here. Unfortunately, the second day is all downhill, right? That's the problem, right? And um, I wish I could feel like this all the time, right? Unfortunately, I usually eat here and then I start the next day with the, with this again, right? So, so I live my entire life here, right? I wish I could keep it like that. I have not found a solution. That's that's just really sad because um, usually here is where I tend to have anger management problems, where I get really uh, bitter about things. You know, sometimes I, I record videos about how bitter I am that people don't accept that single lives matter. This is where I usually do all the SLM talking. Right up here, eh, you don't want to accept that I'm single. You know, I'm still going to go enjoy bowling and writing my com favorite computer games, competing in the Computer Olympia. SLM, 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 right? And that, that's, how, that's usually how my day looks like. I wish I could stay here forever, though.